guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife right here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, information, and things that will hopefully ignite, excite, and take your relationship to a whole new healthy level. That's right. And if you're not in a relationship, don't worry because you can just store these tips for later and be able to utilize them when you do find that special someone that you want to get in a relationship with. And hopefully they'll reciprocate all the great things that you're going to bring to that relationship. So with no further ado, let's get into this week's topic. And this week, um, you know, I, honestly, we were just sitting down with one of my friends and we were just talking. I'm like, what do you think some people would want to know about? And, you know, at that point, like he's been single in relationships, you know, and, and just around that whole game out there, what's going on. And it's kind of crazy what is going on out there because people have so many different options and opportunities and apps want to play and, this game. and all these different things that take them in so many different directions or distract them from really putting their eye on the prize and what they have in front of them might be better than what they think is going to be better over that fence. Yeah, it's never greener on the other side. Never greener on the other side. Maybe sometimes. You know what? Not I'm, usually. I'd water your own lawn first and see if you can before <laughs> yeah, I go it. somewhere else. Yeah, I like that analogy. Right? Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know, work on yourself before you start trying to go somewhere else and think it's going to be better. So, with, uh, with no further ado, we were talking about the topic of the day, and the topic of the day is, what do you do when your, your partner says, and you're, you're trying to get romantic, I'm tired? You know, I feel like they don't usually even say that. I feel like you, like, kind of I got a headache. I got a <laughs> I'm tired. Coming up with all the excuses. Listen, there are definitely people out there that Maybe still they use. they do, yeah. And they, they probably, I would say, half of them are probably really tired, like, they're just worn out from the day. Yeah. And that, Kids, job, yeah, I everything. Mean, you know, it, it all depends on uh, really what's going on on that day and yeah, what they're dealing with, right? And is this a one-time occurrence or just a multi-type occurrence, yeah. right? So if it happens one time, you're like, all right, well, you know, you're just tired. But if it's happening over and over and over again, this can be kind of frustrating to the partner, whether it's a girl or a guy, yeah. right? Those work both ways. Because it's almost a form of rejection to a certain extent. Some people might feel like that, even if that is not the case. Um, so at that point, what are you going to do? So if my partner, you know, let's say that I was tired. I kept telling her, she was like, you know, she's getting real cute for me. She's trying to do some special things. And at that point, I'm just like, listen, she's on. I'm just I would feel incredibly rejected right? considering that I don't get cute and do special things all the time because I am actually tired. <laughs> <laughs> this is a true statement. This is a, not that this. So whole... it's the flip side to it. Are they getting cute for you or not? Because they're tired. Too bad. Hey, you Take know? some Red Bull or coffee. Take a Titan Therapy. Pop an ECA. Pop up. Go put on an Turk outfit up. and Turk put up. your pigtails in. Turk he up. says. <laughs> but I, so you know. So I mean, that, that's the case, right? You know, whether it's somebody that says, hey, "Listen, I'm, I'm working all day. I'm too tired to even get romantic," or somebody like, "Listen, like when somebody gets." Fresh with them, and as far as their partner, they're just like, I'm just too tired. I, I can't do this. So what do you do? Right? Because this is not something that's going to last long, I would say. Or if it does, it's going to build up um, some frustration and some maybe some negative thoughts towards you from your partner. Yeah, you might be thinking something's actually wrong. Yeah. Or, you know, it, so it, it can create that animosity almost, too. So at that point, what are you going to do? Well, you yourself might not know that anything is wrong. You just want to say, hey, listen, everything's fine with me. I just, you know, I've been working a lot of hours every day. I'm super stressed, and this is what it is. And your partner's like, listen, like, what can I do for you? So if it's a stress thing, then you guys need to go find some stress, de-stressful activities to do, right? Yeah, do something fun. It do something. It gets your mind off things. Yeah, well, you don't have to think. And that's where yeah. the movie's coming to Yeah, our, mo our movies, it you forces to you to pay attention, like what's going yeah, on. You're thinking about the movie and what's going on in the movie and nothing else, right? But other people, they can't do that. So find some activity that de-stresses you. And if that's the case with de-stressing, you should feel a lot better after de-stressing, whether it's vacation, whatever it is, and you should go back. And then you start getting back into the normal things, right? Uh, if it's not, right? If it's not a stressful thing and then just, you know, I, I don't know. As we get older, <laughs> we're going to start declining in a whole bunch of things. And some of those things are going to be hormones. And hormones with the decline are going to cause us to be tired, fatigued, um, have low libido possibly. Give you vaginal dryness. Vaginal dryness. That's never fun. Skin. At all. Mental clarity is gone with, you know, with brain fog and such. So this could be affecting your, your, your partner's performance. And 
this could happen at the ages of 30 or higher, right? I mean, 20s, even younger. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's happening to 20 year olds and stuff like that as far as hormone imbalances, deficiencies. But you know, you don't really think that, right? You think in the 20s they shouldn't have any of these issues or problems, mm -hmm. but it could be a problem, right? And that's where we're really getting a blood test to check to see what these things do. And if you guys are interested, Type Medical Center can help you out nationwide, wherever you guys are at, with blood testing for you or your partner, so male and female, just to see what's going on so you have a clear picture and can make an educated decision about what you want to do. So at that point, like, it could be hormones. It could be that they're deficient in some of these different things and they don't have the energy to get through the day. And at that point, they don't have the libido or the drive to even want to have relations with their partner. Yeah, even that might not be do. the only thing that they don't want to do. They might want to not do anything. This you know what true. I mean? Like, they're getting pushed to go to work, pushed to take the kids to school, pushed to do everything. You got to ask too. Like, so this is a different answer for everybody. It's it's quite, uh, it's funny when I ask people, right? So what is the average or what is to be expected, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with this. As far as you to be, you know, romantic, romantic okay. We'll use this for our ABC show. But um, be romantic per week. Mm -hmm. Is it one time a week? Is it two times a week? Is it every other week? Is it every day? Every other day? I just, I'm curious to know, like- Every maybe, other month? Yeah, that would be a problem. Six months, a year? If you are waiting six months, I would check his phone. So listen, I, I've definitely, me and her, I've definitely come across people who have said every one of these numbers. Yes, Not so all, all over the board, all over the board. When I hear six months or a year, there's a serious problem. Yeah. There's definitely a problem with communication, there's definitely a problem in your romantic bedroom life. And that problem needs to get fixed sooner than later. Mm -hmm. Now, listen, if it's a medical condition, that's one thing, right. right? But if it's not a medical condition, then you and your partner are not on the same so, page. So let's rewind this real quick because I've myself had medical conditions, right? So even if you have a medical condition, you can still please your partner in other ways. There's a ton of different ways that you can accomplish this job. So I don't want to hear that you have a medical problem outside of a week, maybe two weeks tops. But you got to get creative after that and then, you know, start to think like, what's another way that I can please my partner if I don't feel good or I have cramps or I, who knows? You know what I mean? Like it could be a million different things I can list right now. But I mean, okay, let's say you fall off the top of a building and you break your legs. Okay, that's a serious medical condition. We want to make sure you feel I'm a little bit like, better. You know, the guy's in a coma for a month. Or well, some, he's in a coma. Some, some, something where <laughs> you cannot. D that's exactly what I said. <laughs> so something you, you cannot, you know. No, but I'm serious. It, it's like a thing, though, because like even you really do need to think about that. Like, you know, some people will come up with 100 excuses as to why they can't please their partner, but there's really a, hu a hundred different ways you can combat that to do something for your partner. And sometimes you you might even be able to be romantic by doing other things where you guys connect. You know what I mean? Like us women out there, I'm not speaking for everybody, but us women, we don't just connect physically, right? We connect emotionally, mentally, that kind of stuff. So we want to make sure that, you know, if you go on nice dates and you really love each other and cuddle, like, you know, sometimes I just want to call with John, you know, just, you know, however long I can fit in this little nook. <laughs> <laughs> he laughs like that because it's right. He, he knows he knows it's true. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's true. So, I mean, there's so many different things you need to look at, but don't let it keep going, whatever it is. And that's yeah, the point to this. Nip in the butt. Make sure you guys are setting that side of time. And no matter if you got kids, jobs, whatever it is, make it a priority because physical health is important. Mental health is important and sexual health is important. Mm -hmm. And that goes right along with emotional, mm -hmm. right? So at that point, you need these things to be healthy. That's it, guys, though. Another great Cupid's Corner with me and my beautiful wife, Sharice. DVR it if you have to. Watch it live. Or if you can't do either one of those, make sure you go to our social media platforms like YouTube. Type up Type Medical Center. Search it out. You guys will get the street all the great Cupid Corner episodes and a lot more cool content from me and Sharice we and go all back the time. Years, years. So we've got a lot, a lot of great, great shows for you guys. Maybe you guys missed some stuff. Maybe you guys want to bookmark it. Maybe you want to watch it again. So we'll be back next Sunday. Another Cupid's Corner, ABC. We'll see you then. See you then.